Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K15 Universe Mode. My name is Brendan Plays. This is the final episode before Hell in a Cell, which is going to be a huge pay per view. And this is going to be a huge episode of SmackDown as well for you guys. Looking forward to bringing this one to you as we get ready for the pay per view. But we have main event and SmackDown to get through first before the big, big show. Okay, so this week's main event card we have Rusev taking on Miz. And uh, he'll have Miz Dow in his corner as well. Daniel Bryan will be in action. He'll be taking on the number one contender for the US Championship, Sheamus. RVD will be in his corner, even though apparently a lot of you guys think there's a bit of friction between the two. Apparently, there isn't really. So we'll have to wait and see how that one kind of pans out. New tag team of, of Bo Dallas and Adam Rose. They're teaming up to take on the primetime players. Now, guys, I need a tag team name for Adam Rose and Bo Dallas. So if you got one, hit me up in the comment section below. And it's the rematch that we didn't think we'd ever see, but we're going to see it now. The Ascension versus the Dudley Boys. I know this is a bit of a shock. This is going to be good. Of course, at Old School Raw, the Ascension debuted, and they lost to the Dudleys. Can they rectify their loss? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Rusev, he beats The Miz. Daniel Bryan versus Sheamus. So, oh, okay, Bryan beats Sheamus. So a lot of you guys think Bryan should be in the US Championship situation. Well, he beats Sheamus. So perhaps after Hell in a Cell, we can start to think about Bryan in the US title, perhaps. We'll have to wait and see. Dallas and Rose, they knock off the primetime plays as we get ready for our big main event matchup. All right, so this one is a bit of a shock to me, to be honest with you, because, you know, I didn't really expect to see this one because we saw the Dudleys, they came in for Old School Raw, and they beat the Ascension. But I think the Ascension, they challenged the Dudleys tonight. I think they kind of felt as though they weren't ready. They weren't ready for the rematch, because the Dudleys, arguably the best tag team of all time, you know, one of the best, at least. You know, they've held championships in every single company you can imagine. You know, they've done it all. The Ascension, they're a new tag team on the block. And their first match is against this legendary tag team. And that's obviously a very difficult thing to come in and do and beat one of the best tag teams of all time. It's very difficult to come in and just do that, you know, in your first match. So, as expected, they did lose. And now tonight, they're coming into this match with a lot of momentum. They are now the number one contenders for the WWE Tag Team Championships, the New Day's Championships, of course. And here is the Dudley Boys, by the way. So, they're coming in here with a number of wins behind their belt. And now, I think the Ascension are ready for the Dudleys. They've had three or four weeks to prepare, and, you know, I think they've wanted to call out the the Dudleys tonight and beat them before their tag team match at Hell in a Cell, because I feel as though the Ascension believe that they need to beat the Dudley boys in order to have the confidence coming into Hell in a Cell that they are the next tag team champions. Because if you lose to a tag team, you know, that's always going to be in your head, isn't it? It's always going to be... a frustrating you and especially if you never get the opportunity for a rematch so they've been lucky enough the Dudley boys have come in have granted them the rematch so they'll get another opportunity here against the Dudleys but at the moment Steve on taking down uh, Victor right now I have to remember which one is which I'm still kind of learning the names you know I, I, I think I've got a down pack now I think I know who's who I guess you know I don't actually watch NXT so when these guys came up I was like, oh, which one's which? I know who they are, obviously the Ascension, but I just didn't know who was Connor and who was Victor. But um, I can think I've got it now. So, yeah, so Hell in a Cell coming up. Um, I do apologize for a little bit of delay for this video. The reason why I did delay is because I won't be able to get Hell in a Cell done on the weekend. I'm gonna probably gonna have to do it on Monday. So there's gonna be a little bit of delay for Hell in a Cell, so I kind of delayed and tried to stretch this out for as long as I could so you guys aren't waiting a ridiculous amount of time. Like, I didn't want to upload everything that I've got for you and then have to make you wait like a week for Hell in a Cell. I didn't want to do that. So, um, at the moment, I've got the promo ready to go, so you can expect to see that. I'll probably upload that on Saturday, and then, um, yeah, so I'll do... The universe mode now, and probably my career mode, and, and then the uh, the promo, and, and then do something else, and then we'll get the pay-per-view done. So, we'll try and get it on ASAP for you guys. I tell you what, it's going to be really, really good. I think this is going to be one of the better pay-per-views that I've done, especially on 2K15. Uh, I think the promo that I did might be one of my favorites that I've ever made. The song that I picked is definitely a, a kick-ass song. I've been waiting to use this song for quite some time. I really love the song. I'm a big, big fan of the song. So, 
I've been very keen to get that done, and the promo took me a while, but that's kind of been what I've been working on all week. So I've uh, just been trying to get that promo done, and that's generally what the thing that takes the longest with these uh, two-hour-long videos. You think, okay, a two-hour-long Hell in a Cell pay-per-view is going to take the longest. Generally, it's the promo videos that takes the longest to actually make in the end. So the three-minute video takes longer than the two-hour video to make, to be honest. But, um, yeah, so that should be pretty good. I'm looking forward to, to showing you guys that. And I'm, I'm hyping it up now, aren't I? So I better deliver. So, yeah, so if you guys aren't aware what the card is for Hell in a Cell, you can do that by checking out the website, brandonplays.com. All the Hell in a Cell information will be on there, and I'll be doing some match previews over the weekend as well. I've already got two up for the two major championships on the show. Of course, Jericho, Undertaker, Hell in a Cell, and the six-man Hell in a Cell WWE Championship matchup. The Ascension, they'll be at Hell in a Cell as well, like I said earlier, challenging the New Day for the Tag Team Championships. There's a drop kick there by Bubba Ray, so that's something you don't normally see all too much from Bubba Ray, but uh, he's trying to pull out all the stops at the moment, trying to prove that he's still kind of got it. And a lot of you guys have been requesting this match, and I kind of felt as though I personally wanted to see it again. You know, I was left with some answers that I, you know, some questions that I needed answered badly, you know. Obviously, a lot of people kind of reacted negatively when the Ascension lost in their first night. I, you know, a lot of people were telling me in my forum, oh, the Ascension, they're done already. You know, you brought the Ascension in, you debut, debut them, and now they're done, they're finished already. So I was like, oh, okay, wait a minute. You know, we'll just wait and see. You know, losing to the Dudley boys isn't exactly career suicide, is it? It's not like you're uh, losing to Heath Slater and, you know, whatever. So, um... Yeah, so I think that uh, at the moment, I'm expecting the Ascension to kind of really achieve a lot of big things. And obviously, if they beat the, the Dudleys here, then they'll really have the confidence and momentum heading in towards the upcoming Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. And the New Day, though, like, you know, they've had a few losses here and there, but for the most part, they've remained pretty strong and competitive. So I think the New Day still have a lot to prove. I've been saying that pay-per-view after pay-per-view, and they continue to do that, but... They just continue to lose on a regular basis. They're not like the White family like we saw in SmackDown, winning week after week after week after week. They're more of a, all right, we'll win a pay-per-view match, and then we'll, you know, we'll probably lose two weeks in a row, then we'll get a win, and then we'll lose the next week, and then at the pay-per-view, we'll win again. You know, they're very inconsistent, and I think for me... That's inviting a lot of tag teams in to the contention, you know, because you have a lot of these tag teams that are coming in, they're getting confidence, they're beating the champs, and they're getting the feeling that they can do it. You know, one of the reasons why we are seeing this match in Hell in a Cell is because the Ascension, they were able to beat the tag team champions. You know, Golden Stardust, they were never able to beat the New Day, and that happened on a number of occasions. So the Golden Stardust had a few chances at the New Day, they never won. And even though they managed to beat the Ascension, they didn't end up getting the tag team title opportunity because, well, what's the point? You know, they can't beat the Ascension, you know, what's the point of, you know, having them in? So, we're going to have the Ascension come in, and so this is going to be a big month for them. Obviously, debuting at Old School Raw, possibly walking out of Hell in a Cell as the WWE Tag Team Champion. So, that's a lot, that's a lot of success in a one-month period for a brand new tag team here on Monday Night Raw. And as Victor goes for the cover, Bubba Ray's there to to break it up as well so we've got a lot in store for you guys for Hell in a Cell as well obviously the Divas match the Fatal 4 for the Divas title we saw Daniel Bryan he beat Sheamus earlier on as well so that's a really interesting one as well because you got Rob Van Dam he's beaten Dolph Ziggler twice now Sheamus has beaten Ziggler and Sheamus ended up getting the number one contendership because Sheamus also defeated Rob Van Dam but now we also throw a spanner in the works as well with Daniel Bryan he beat Sheamus, so it's really like four guys now. It was just three, and now you throw Daniel Bryan in there. Maybe the winner of the the US title match at Hell in a Cell can end up facing Bryan at Survivor Series for the title. I don't know, but there's a lot of guys in there, a lot of guys wanting that championship, so I'm very intrigued to see how that one kind of pays out. You know, so a lot of different things are going to happen at Hell in a Cell that you guys are going to enjoy. Obviously, I've been... I don't know if you guys have been following the Twitter, because some of you guys are not doing that. By the way, follow me on Twitter, at Brendan Plays, almost at a thousand uh, followers. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Fallen Man there by the Ascension. I better stop plugging my shit and start calling the match, because this one's nearly over, but Devon in there to break it up. They hit the Fallen Man, and uh, that could really do some big damage to Bubba Ray Dudley here, as uh, Connor's trying to finish off Bubba Ray. Hit the big move on him. Can they follow it up? 
Alright, so, yeah, on, on my Twitter, I've been promoting and um, just showing you guys which matches to come. But I've also been showing a few teaser pictures of a man they like to call Sting potentially showing up at Hell in a Cell as well. So I've been plugging that on the Facebook and the Twitter and also on the forum. So uh, I don't know if, guys, if you guys are following my social media, but you guys can check out some previews like that. So the, the potential appearance from Sting as well has also got me hyped up. And obviously, we've got some big world title matches, man. Those world title matches are going to be sweet. And, you know, we, in amongst all that, as we'll see later on, probably, you know, we'll see what's going on with Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family. And, of course, the Usos as well. We've, we haven't even mentioned them. You know, so we've got Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt, one-on-one -on -one for the Intercontinental Championship. And, uh, wait a minute. Bubba Ray, hang on. Oh, down goes. Car Victor, I nearly mulled it up again, but I'm not getting too excited because, oh, wait a minute, kicked out. I think he had his foot on the ropes anyways, and also Connor was right there to break it up. So we have Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt, and that will be a no no holds barred match. Yeah, that's right. So you guys voted for that on the BrendanPlays.com website. There was a poll up in there. We had over 300 votes. You guys voted for uh, no holds barred, so I appreciate all of you guys who did vote. So... We're going to have that, and of course, the, the Usos, can they come back and make, a, I guess, a miraculous comeback for Jimmy Uso and beat the White family for the, the World Tag Team titles? That'll be their second opportunity in a row for, this, for those titles, but such a personal heated rivalry between those two right now. Oh, down goes Bubba Ray, and is he busted? I think he might, may have been. Hang on, the cover. Devon's coming, breaks it up, and saves this matchup for the Dudley boys who are trying to do everything they can, but at the moment, the Ascension, they are really in control right now. I guess they've really learned from their number of weeks of trial and error, and I suppose, you know, they're kind of clicking now as a tag team more so than they were before. Two, three, oh, wait a minute, wow. Okay, there you go. It wasn't from a fall of man. It was just, I think, a gut buster of some sorts. Sending him down here, by the way, was their fall of man. So they're setting it up, bang, like there. And Devon had to watch his partner get isolated. And that was a really good representation of tag team wrestling there because they had Bubba Ray isolated. And whilst that was happening, you know, Devon was just unable to get in there and break it up. So we've got a little bit of an error with the, uh, the end of match sequence there. So I apologize for that, guys. But... The Ascension have won this match, and we'll get ready to move on to this week's SmackDown. So, the Ascension, they beat the, the Dudley boys. Are they ready for a tag team title opportunity? Well, they're going to get one. I think they are ready. I think the New Day are in trouble. Speaking of trouble, here is a six diva tag team match. Paige, Emma, Natalia taking on AJ, Tamina Snooker, and Nikki Bella. Of course, it will be Paige, Emma, Natalia, and AJ Lee all competing for the Divas Championship at Hell in a Cell. Big Show is in action. He'll be taking on Batista. CM Punk, the red-hot CM Punk, will be facing Bray Wyatt. Punk will be joined by Ambrose, and Wyatt will have one of his family members and Luke Harper in his corner. So much history between Punk and Wyatt, as well as Harper as well. So, Jey Uso, he'll have Naomi in his corner as, they, as he tries to build some momentum and moves away from the Wyatt family for at least one week as he takes on Adam Rose. Bo Dallas will be in... Rose's corner as well. Like I said, guys, if you got a tag team name for Rose and Dallas, let me know. And this could be a difficult one for the Wyatt family. I don't know, but uh, they're going to be taking on uh, Los Matadors. So Brock Lesnar, he's going to have the Undertaker in, in his corner as Lesnar takes on Chris Jericho. So Jericho beat Cena last week. Can he follow it up with a win over Brock Lesnar? We're going to wait and find out. So some big matches in store for you guys. Okay, six diva match. Paige, Emma, and Natalia, three contenders for that Divas Championship, pick up the victory. Big Show and Batista. Well, Batista's starting to get on a bit of a roll, isn't he? He gets the win. Jey Uso versus Adam Rose. Jey Uso picks up a much-needed win, so he has momentum heading in towards Hell in a Cell. What about the Wyatt family? Oh, okay. Wow. So, uh, Lost Jobadors, uh, they uh, managed to get the win over the Wyatt family, so that's a little bit upset, so we'll just kind of sweep that one under the rug, shall we? And Chris Jericho, there you go. Well, you got any questions about him being a paper champion, not officially being the, the man? Well, I think you can put them to bed because he's beaten Lesnar, he's beaten Cena now. He's pinned The Undertaker in a six-man. Oh, it might have been a two-on-two. -two so, 
Jericho really is proving to be the man right now. I, I, I'm honestly, I'm quite surprised. We've seen Jericho fail to win the big one time and time again, but now that he has won the big one, perhaps he is finally becoming the man that we all thought he could be. He's finally turning into the top guy, the main event Chris Jericho that we all know. And um, right now it's hard to kind of put a fault you know, towards him because he really is looking pretty damn good. And I think The Undertaker, I don't know man, I just get the feeling that we might see that man called Sting show up and I I don't know, I just think The Undertaker, the odds are stacked against him. Obviously it's a Hell in a Cell match, which does work in his favor. He has beaten Chris Jericho in a Hell in a Cell match before as well. But I don't know man, I just get the feeling that it might be too much for The Undertaker to handle with the possibility of Sting coming in. Chris Jericho in red hot form, Undertaker down on confidence, got so much on his mind, I just get the feeling it's going to be tough for him. And at the moment we have CM Punk and Bray Wyatt, so obviously a Bray Wyatt coming out and you'll have Luke Harper in his corner tonight. CM Punk red hot at the moment, he did get beat by Batista though last week, so that kind of threw uh, yeah, a little bit of a downer towards CM Punk, but he he's still looking pretty damn good, he's got some momentum, he's got some big victories. And we have something big in store for you guys after Hell in a Cell regarding SmackDown. If you've been on the forums, you know what it is. But uh, I won't spoil it yet. But uh, it's going to be pretty cool. I think you guys are going to like it. It's something a little bit different as well. We haven't done one of these for a while. So I, I won't spoil it yet. But uh, yeah, I'm, I tell you guys, we're going to have some good stuff coming up for you guys after Hell in a Cell. And Survivor Series is going to be our pay review after Hell in a Cell. So make sure you do stick around for that. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And as my friend Samir likes to say, RKO, the like button as well. So at the moment, CM Punk and Bray Wyatt going at it. And obviously Bray Wyatt has his match against Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose watching on, decided to join CM Punk tonight and get a bit of a closer look of Bray Wyatt. And Bray Wyatt, he's been a little bit uh, up and down at the moment himself. I think, you know, he probably hasn't been wrestling enough one-on-one -on -one matches himself. And he's kind of been focusing his attention on the Wyatt family a little bit as well trying to make sure that they hang on to their tag team titles. You know, I think Bray Wyatt's a little bit down on confidence because he did lose to that I lose to Dan, Dean Ambrose and you know has now lost his IC championship. So in my mind I feel as though Bray Wyatt has gone from that dominant superstar that we all know and you know we all fear. You know the Wyatt family's been so dominant and now the Wyatt family are losing a little bit. It's starting to kind of question and make Bray Wyatt have a little bit of doubt in his mind. That the White family are as dominant as they once were, only a few months ago. So, I guess Bray Wyatt, he needs to kind of get some wins under his belt. And obviously has a big Intercontinental Championship matchup at the upcoming Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. So, he needs to try and prove that he can be the man. And hey, it could be a similar situation that we saw with Seth Rollins over on Raw. Bray Wyatt might be ready. He may just be ready to move up into the world title picture, and I wouldn't blame him. I think Bray Wyatt has been very impressive, and he has shown that he can hang with the best of the best. And speaking of the best, he's in the, in the match right now. Wait a minute. CM Punk in trouble. Wait a minute. Bray Wyatt's got him already. Are we going to see it? The kiss of death as he hits the sister Abigail. Just like that. CM Punk's in big trouble early on in the match, too! And oh, he kicked out at two. I thought that was gonna be it. Oh, I thought for a second we were gonna see. Oh, wait a minute! Bray Wyatt's going for it again! Another Sister Abigail! Oh, he's got it! Two Sister Abigails, just like that. The cover! One, two, three! Wow! Wow! Bray Wyatt has won this match just like that, went going bang bang! Two sister Abigails in a row, and he's won this match, and CM Punk's hot streak may just be coming to an end. Wow, that's unbelievable. Just like that, CM Punk losing, and Bray Wyatt impressive as ever. Dean Ambrose watching on. He saw Punk get dismantled. Punk never got out of the blocks. Bray Wyatt too quick for CM Punk in this match. He would just come out so strong. And he hit two sister Abigails just like that, picking up the win. Dean Ambrose, that is your fate at Hell in a Cell. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you, if you did, please hit the subscribe button. Like the video as well. Hell in a Cell is coming up. Check out the promo video, which will be out on the weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you all at Hell in a Cell, which should be out very early next week. Thanks, guys. And please... 
don't spam my Twitter. I don't need you guys asking me every day when it's coming. It's coming, okay? Just wait. Just wait for me, please. Thanks, guys.